This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. Collagen is revered for giving skin its strength and elasticity along with its power to reduce wrinkles. This is why I love collagen. Not just regular collagen though, multi-collagen. What is multi-collagen? It's a solution for aging that America is going crazy for. Within days of trying multi-collagen, users report noticing a more youthful appearance, decreased wrinkles, thicker hair, healthier nails, and pain-free joints. I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. Try it out now for 51% off by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the links in the description or pinned comment. Parting ways with right-wing commentator Rick Santorum. HuffPost broke this news yesterday and said Santorum's contract was, quote, terminated. This stems from Santorum's speech last month when he spoke dismissively about Native Americans, stirring outrage, leading to this segment on Chris Cuomo's show, where Santorum said he misspoke but did not actually apologize. So now he's out. Oh, come on. Call me a paranoid conspiracy theorist, but it looks like CNN was looking for any reason to get rid of their lone right-leaning voice on the Democrat Party propaganda network. So if you haven't guessed yet, this entire segment was built to normalize and rationalize the existence of Democrat Party state media. On CNN and other networks, it's Democrats working for Democrats, and they know that the viewer can plainly see this, so they have to try and spin it as anything other than that. These people are constantly doing mental gymnastics to try and convince themselves that there's something other than left-wing activists pretending to be journalists. And make no mistake, they are working for one-party rule that they will bolster and keep in power for as long as they possibly can. And in this case, too, it's not that Rick Santorum said something that was unusual for the sets of beliefs that he has. It's just that the tolerance um, of CNN and its audience for those beliefs seems to have changed. And so that, I think, is the most important context for what happened here. Holy shit! The condescension and moral superiority are just dripping from this ghoul's food hole. But anyway, her excuse here is that the CNN audience has no tolerance for anything other than what the party tells them. And the party is always right. So how should the reality-based press cover an alternative reality GOP? First, I just want to point out, and you probably noticed in these articles that they showed from this guy, they were both labeled opinion, not fact or truth, or whatever nonsense this NPC is about to vomit out. Honestly. I mean, I think that's the key important thing here is cover it honestly. I think we've had this view for a long time and journalism should be not aligned with either party, but I think we've interpreted it to mean journalism should be equally distant between the two parties. And I think that's not realistic. Journalism has a bias for facts, evidence, truth. Okay, maybe journalism does have that bias, but that doesn't apply to CNN or anybody on this panel because they're not journalists. Don't you just love how this entire segment is just an attempt to sell what is obviously Democrat Party propaganda as a bias for the truth? It reminds me of when Colbert said that truth has a liberal bias. Imagine thinking that your chosen political ideology is never wrong. Except for the media is constantly wrong and creating myths using cherry-picked data and stories. Let's not forget that they helped spread Russian disinformation through the country when they used the Steele dossier to try and undo a democratic election that they couldn't accept the results of. They've even spread the lie that Michael Brown had his hands up, leading to death and destruction ever since. This is exactly why liberals and Democrats think thousands of unarmed black people are shot every year. When in reality, the number is in the double digits. Now that's with over 40 million black Americans and millions millions of interactions every year with police. Listen, I'm not gonna go down the entire list of all the BS spread by the media, but just go watch all my videos and you'll find many hours of examples. Half of the voters in one party and a lot of the elected officials in a party are not being truthful. Journalists are going to cover that and look like they're covering that party more negatively. So in this environment, we have to prioritize. We have to be pro-truth, pro-democracy, pro-evidence. And I think that's going to make it look like we're pro pro-democratic, but I think we're, but I think we should be pro-democratic small d, not pro-democratic capital D. Oh really? Really now? Why is it that I've never seen a story in the so-called mainstream media about how only 18% of Democrats accepted the previous election results? It's, it's different, different when we do it. it. Please stop. Just stop. 
The reason you look like you're pro one party isn't because you're interested in evidence or facts, it's because you lie and spin for the party. That's your job. That's why you jumped on stories like the Covington Kids and Jesse Smollett. It's not because you're interested in facts and evidence, it's because you're interested in proving your biases. That's exactly why people were getting banned and attacked by the media as racist conspiracy theorists for questioning if the China virus came from a Chinese lab. Fast forward to now, and the New York Times is quietly now admitting the lab theory is not a conspiracy theory or racist, but a legitimate viable explanation. But yeah, these are all just truth warriors for virtue and democracy. Just don't expect that search to ever involve their party. Beware. These people are making a real power grab for the Democrat party. This is all just buttering up the viewer so they can lie to themselves and believe that they're getting the truth. Yeah, in the same way that Pravda was giving the truth. And by the way, if you didn't know, Pravda means the truth. So CNN is taking another play out of the communist handbook. That's all I have for this one. Please, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to check me out on some of the alternate platforms or support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.